Welcome back to the big board. One day today. Uh, so let's talk about this. We're at the beginning of turn four. I have not rolled for aircraft or anything like that, but we do need to do that. In fact, I've got to put some of these guys over here, down in from air superiority, down into flown. We have a monstrous pile of flown aircraft. Got to roll for all those guys, do the cratering and all that sort of business. Let's have a little look at this. I really thought that at the end of turn three or halfway through the turn, turn three, that by the end of turn three, we would be probably at a stopping point. However, the last Soviet set of impulses actually made some headway here. We're kind of trying to force our way towards the Rhine and this little pocket of uh, red VP cities here. Unfortunately, you know, it was an expensive exercise. Some of these stacks have uh, two and three disruptions each. And I made an attack here as the NATO player, they counterattacked and they uh, they, they got hurt pretty hard. They actually took a disruption. Well, these are all actually NATO units. They all took disruptions. So every unit in that stack took a disruption. These guys took a disruption. So the problem I had is I got poor results. I got results that uh, gave each side a disruption, which for these guys wasn't such a big deal. I mean, it does pop these guys up to four. They're up to two and they are up to two as well, I think, yeah. So, <clears throat> problematic up there. So it's unresolved, inconclusive. We need to play another turn to really get a feel for what might happen. You may notice where there's a Soviet unit all the way down here. They popped in by uh, air assault. Not air assault. What did they do? They just did a landing, that's right. Air transport is what I'm trying to say. <coughs> Uncontested. Now, Bavaria is very thin, took some damage here, counterattacked here, didn't get a very good result here either. Uh, really frustrating little exercise there. So the die rolls didn't come off for the Americans this turn, and they didn't have a whole lot of air they could apply uh, to try and bump the odds up for themselves, and in fact, up on the north. Here, this was a six to one or five to one attack, and uh, nothing, nothing extraordinary happened. So it was very disappointing. So on to turn four, and we will go through the exercise of uh, making things happen. I don't think the Soviets are going to get there. I don't think they're going to be able to push everyone back across the Rhine, which would probably be where I would call it at that point. Just because it's the third time I've played this since February and, uh, and I'm still playing a, a vassal session of it. So I'm kind of at quota with the system. I really am enjoying it a lot. Uh, I think I'd probably be more excited to be playing someone, uh, you know, playing opposed. But I have uh, time constraints that are eating into my ability to kind of just leave this set up and play it uh, a turn at a time or whatever the case may be. I kind of have an inclination that I'd like to get the Pacific Front title out and give that a bit of a run for its money and, and see how that plays as a separate uh, a separate module. Like that might be fun to do. But who knows when that'll, that'll actually eventuate or come into being. So there's the current situation. We'll get started with turn four and we'll see what happens from here. And thanks for checking in. We'll talk to you soon.